be honest and say I need help. I'm battling with this. I am suicidal. I am sad. I am lonely. These are issues that need attention. Don't don't think about it that oh no people judge you. No, speak to the right people. If you have no support system, there are there are emergency lines that you can call and someone will hear you out you know sometimes we just need a reminder that your problem is not as big as you think let's get down to business shall we <laughs> for coming back because you are my loves so thank you very much and I hope you enjoy this vlog so this month this is a month of mental health awareness what do we mean when we say mental health most times when people hear mental health they feel oh my god like yes it does I know it comes with its own stigma but when people talk about mental health basically they are trying to ask how are you feeling how are you doing it it has a physical psychological and emotional outlook to it how are you doing emotionally how are your feelings how are you handling stress you know and when you get to figure out your emotions when you get to know that I am stressed today or I am feeling some type of way or I feel low it's easy for you to actually maybe sweep your feelings off or find mechanisms that help you cope up with whatever you're dealing so mental health is a checkpoint if I can say yeah a checkpoint where you get to ask yourself am i am i doing well how am i feeling today how 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 am i handling the stress in my life or why am i overthinking it's you actually analyzing yourself mentally like okay what's going on and that is actually very important because most people don't realize or recognize that that is actually a very important thing to do for you to be mentally well because if you do not understand your feelings if you do not understand your emotions you will find yourself in a pit hole why because maybe you had signs of mental Ill issues and you didn't recognize them because you didn't know how to identify them you know sometimes you have trouble sleeping restlessness why you have pain or fatigue you have um i don't know you you have trouble concentrating you have detachment issues you don't want to be found with people you just want to be alone you don't want to do anything you don't want to get up you you literally just in your own bubble there's some some things that you can recognize and say okay i'm not at my best when you get to identify that okay when i do this and that then maybe i'm not physically or emotionally okay and it can save you a lot of trouble Talk about anxiety oh my god i'm going to talk about anxiety because i personally deal with a lot of anxiety in my life <laughs> I do <laughs> but I have good anxiety I had past tense I had bad anxiety um, the good anxiety is the anxiety that 
kind of pushes you to do better the anxiety that warns you when danger is around you know uh, that's 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 the thing it's like you know how when doctors say you have good bacteria and bad bacteria you have good anxiety you have bad anxiety so anxiety is not a bad thing naturally we all go through anxiety in our day-to-day -day. right I remember when I used to have exams and I would have like anxiety before I get into the room even when I get into the exam room I'll be like oh my god I'll feel some type of way you know and people do go through anxiety often you applying for a job you trying to do something new you will have con a little amount of anxiety which is normal you know but then when the anxiety exceeds a certain a certain limit then it becomes bad I remember having anxiety and knowing me I always diagnose myself I'm like okay you're feeling pain in the lower quadrant or you know okay you have this and that and that okay cool but with anxiety I did not think of it I did not think of it so there was a time in my life when I was just having pain in my in my abdomen somewhere and I'm like hmm okay I know what it is let me you know treat myself not really but I'm really but yeah and it went on for about a, a period of time you know and I said I have pain and I'm like okay I know what it is you know so that was kind of comforting because I was like okay you know in, in medicine you kind of have the pains and you kind of know like okay if you're feeling pain in this region you know it's this and this and this that can be caused in it but so I did that for myself and I'm like okay there are only three options and I concluded to one long story short there was a time I had major abdominal pain and I found myself in the ER emergency department and I my BP was off the roof my blood pressure was off the roof uh, the nest literally like I had a fever I like they're like oh my god what is wrong and I'm like oh my god I have pain you know and I told the doctor my my diagnosis and they're like okay let's go for a checkup you know like doctor to doctor kind of situation <laughs> But then um, she also agreed, she also agreed, you know. So we went for a checkup and she was like, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, but I'm still feeling the pain, I'm still feeling the pain. So what could it be? So after that, I was just like, like after that moment, like I had, a checkup like a serious checkup and my body was fine like they did not find one wrong thing and I, I, I was actually shocked because the amount of pain I was in I could swear that there was something something wrong but little did I realize that there was something wrong up here you know I had major anxiety issues and when i wasn't anxious i was fine when i got anxious like when i got too anxious it became it became a problem you know it became a problem and when i went to the emergency department that night it was i think it was midnight i realized like okay and then as usual I diagnose myself and I'm like I know what's causing you and yes I may or may not have known what caused my what triggered my anxiety but I yeah I didn't know and I'm like okay so I have to deal with that and the moment I dealt with it and worked on coping with my anxiety issues 
I have been on a normal level of anxiety. Yes, naturally, flight. The flight or fight response. Response is a normal thing because your body will give you an alert when something is wrong, you know. So always pay attention, always pay attention to the signs. It's very important. And sometimes, sometimes your body overreacts. True. Sometimes you get anxious, but it's it's no big deal. So apart from apart from what i figured out caused my anxiety i realized that every time i stressed about the future and what i want to achieve and what i want to do and where i want to be my anxiety just shoots up and i'm like girl relax relax you know so at least i was able to identify that so every time i that thinking of the future I'm just like calm it down you know live in the moment and take it a day at a time when when things don't work out my way I get and I try to control situation but then I have learned to I've learned to just let go like things that I cannot control I truly cannot control what I can control is my peace and my happiness basically that's it so if you are going through some anxiety issues find a way to cope with them and if your anxieties are causing you to not be productive causing major disturbance in your life please seek help seek the necessary help you know people get anxiety from different things you know it might be at least i was able to identify for me what it was but people have social anxiety people have certain phobias you know like there's so many mental illnesses people go through you know people go through depression people have anxiety people have uh, bipolar disorders people have um, uh, development development disorders like autism you know so there's so many there's so many mental illnesses you know schizophrenia um i can't even name them but there's so many people go through so many things that you have to be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through you know all you have to do is be truly kind don't fake it no but be 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 kind be kind to people be kind to yourself be kind to yourself don't put too much pressure on yourself to to the point that you get yourself ill. Don't do that. Be kind to yourself. Understand yourself. Forgive yourself. You know, these are these are the these are things that I I I realize that every time I put pressure on myself, every time I don't forgive myself, every time I neglect me, I I get some issues. You know, but work on that and work on your anxiety you might have anxiety every day but it should be in little dosage a little doses you know so work on your anxiety and work on your wellness work on your wellness figure out things that keep you happy make you happy bring joy into your life the same way bring joy onto other people's lives be, be the joy that you want to receive. Be the peace that you want to receive. Be the kindness that you want to receive. It starts with you. So if you can show kindness to a stranger, if you can, not even a stranger, now you stranger a lot, but it can be the people that we live with, um, work with, 
strangers be kind show happiness and just be peace don't come with drama or criticism in other people's lives because people are naturally going through so many things so many things why 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 are we having so many suicidal cases it starts from these little things it starts from little depression little anxiety you feeling lonely and these become these lead to suicide they start out small but when unattended to they lead to big issues so work work on your little issues work on them if you know that you have depression you are suffering from depression seek help seek help if you can't manage your depression on your own seek the necessary help visit your doctor talk to your family and that will be very very helpful i remember I remember a time when I literally, literally my family, my family helped me out. <laughs> my family helped me out. I was going through, I was going through some mental disturbances and I literally just like had to speak out and thank God my family is very supportive no judgment there i appreciate them and they heard me out if it means i was calling them 10 times a day they picked up all my calls because i needed to voice out my issues i remember my bestie oh my god i think my mom my bestie my zimba max i think those people suffered <laughs> because i was like anything i'm like literally i think we used to, i used to be on the phone with all of them i'll just switch like oh from this person to this person to this person to this person and i used to voice out my issues and i felt no judgment that even helped me analyze myself and figure out what was what was going on so i appreciate those people and i know that the day they need me i will be there you know so if you need help seek the necessary help seek for it just be honest and say i need help i'm battling with this i am suicidal i am sad i am lonely these are issues that need attention don't don't think about it that Oh no people judge you no speak to the right people if you have no support system there are there are emergency lines that you can call and someone will hear you out you know sometimes we just need a reminder that your problem is not as big as we think that you can get through it you just need someone to tell you to hold on to to remind you to hold on and you might just you might just get through it you will get through it with every situation i don't know what you're going through i really don't know what you're facing people are facing spiritual battles physical battles emotional battles whatever kind of battle you are facing you can get help and the storm will end there will be a time when you look back and i'm like i do have times when i look back and i'm like shit oh sorry when i look back and i'm like dang dang we survived that 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 storm you know so you will survive that storm just hang in there seek help i am here literally if you need help send me a dm i am not that I'm not that harsh specifically if you need help don't come to my DMs looking for love <laughs> no but if you need help if you need someone to hear you out if you need someone to talk to I am here I am here really and we can see what we can do so
today, today's question is, how are you feeling mentally, emotionally? How are you feeling? And if you ask yourself that and figure out like, okay, I'm pretty good today. I haven't had any episodes of some sort or haven't gone through anything. I'm super. That's a good thing. Always ask yourself like, how are you feeling today? You know, and ask someone, how are you feeling today? Like truly, 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 how are you? Or where are you on the mental spectrum? Where are you? You know, so that would be actually very helpful. I hope you enjoyed this chat. And this month, we'll have more mental health talk. And I don't know if you have any specific topic that you'd want me to talk about please leave leave a comment leave your thoughts leave your questions and i will get back to them i will do a video and answer your questions and thoughts and we can talk about something else so today we looked at anxiety today we looked at our anxiety and just mental health definition if i can say so next time we can look at PTSD because well I have another story about that but we can talk about so many things if you are if you have ways of coping with anxiety depression or other things that you might be going through leave leave your your ways in the leave your comments and maybe someone who's going through the same thing as you can relate to what you're going through and find ways to cope with it because sometimes experience is the best teacher so if you leave how you survive how you handle stress how you go about your day we can all learn like i said it's elegant growth we all learn from each other so please leave your thoughts comments shares positive remarks criticize if you can but in a positive way don't make me comment <laughs> that won't happen to my name of jesus but yeah leave your comments reviews uh shares thoughts etc down below thank you very much and yes so next step i'm just gonna finish my drink and um i'm gonna relax and have my spa treatment.